Hey there, this is our first video in the uh, 3D printed name badge holder series. So I wanted to show you guys kind of the end result before we get started. We're going to make something like this, except you can, you know, customize the front plate however you wish. So there's going to be four videos in this series. The first video, what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of pull out all the base, big bulky shapes of this project and get those all set up. In the second video, we're going to work on aligning them and putting them in the correct place. The third video, we're going to trim uh, the corners and, and with fillets and trim the front off so it's not there's no sharp edges sticking out. And I'll teach you guys how to do that. And then the fourth final video is kind of a fun one where you get to uh, customize this front by importing uh, someone else's STL design from the internet uh, uh, website called uh, umagine.com. And you get to customize it with your own text if you wish also. All right, so uh, let's take a look here. And so to get started, what I want to do is I'm going to duplicate this finished product and move it over, so you guys can kind of break. I want to show you guys how this is working, and uh, so you get an idea of what the shapes are that you're actually building here. All right, so I'm going to ungroup it because it, to me it's really helpful to kind of see a finished product and work backwards from that. I mean, it, it's it's a good way to kind of deconstruct the project. I'll ungroup again. one more there you can see I have quite a few groups here okay so now this is kinda of where we want to be I'm gonna kinda of delete this other stuff we're gonna talk about these things I'm deleting in the third video but for now we're gonna just get rid of those I'm gonna get rid of this stuff on the front because we're not gonna deal with that in this video and just I'm just gonna get down to the important parts for this video so what you're looking at here is five pieces that are put together Actually, this one, this one piece for the badge holder hole, it's a few pieces that it's a compound shape, meaning that several pieces are put together to make that shape. But essentially, we have five pieces. Now, listen, this is very important. You've got to understand this for this project. So in our other projects, such as the quadruped project, you, it might not have mattered very much exactly if, if this, for example, this uh, foot, this, this uh, sphere that's squished for the foot, it, I don't think it would really have mattered if this student that made this had made this an extra one millimeter or maybe even two millimeters or maybe less because it doesn't have to interact with any part in the real world like or um, unlike our project and our project that we're doing today this is a set object so the, the size of these uh, ID badges that we're going to be making our badge holder for these are a set object and they're not going to change for us if we want them to so we have to essentially work around this and that means that we have to make the holes the size of things and everything in this project we have to make them exactly right so that our badge fits in there perfectly if we don't do it right our badge may stick out the top or maybe slide down too far look at this for example we have to line this up with that hole there so we have to get this in the exact right position so in this project close enough is useless you don't want to go just add eh, good enough you've got to make sure that you get all the dimensions exactly right now with that in mind though I have uh, created a couple of things that are going to help you with this first step of the project so what you're going to do is first of all open up your file browser yeah, and of course you go to teacher you find my folder which is uh, J.A. Woodchick and uh, you're gonna go into 3d printing badge holder now look these two drawings here component parts one and component parts two they're just JPEGs you can just double click them and open them and what this does is it shows you the exact dimensions because it's important to get these exact on this project this drawing and the other one like it show you exactly how big you need to make all the parts for today's video for the first video all right so hey I'm gonna kinda get started on that and just show you I'm gonna show you just one of those big rectangles at the beginning so let's take a look here open up this one and I'm gonna start with this so you don't have to put any text on it when you make it these are just labels so you know what they do so let's talk about these three parts first of all the main body that's this big rectangular box that makes the outside frame but the problem is, is if we just put that out there, it's going to be solid. So you can notice how there's a card that slides in and out. This little rectangle that cut that slot out is this one that says card hole on it. And finally, the last one. Now, if we just had the card hole, 
we would have no, no way to see our name badge. So this part that's cut out of the front so you can actually see what's behind the name badge or, or what's on the name badge, that one's the front view hole. That's what I'm labeling it on this video. All right, so let's get started. I'm just gonna go through one of these and then pause the video when I get done with the other ones because you don't need to watch me making three different boxes. Okay, so let's take note of this. 58 by six and 96 tall. So first things first, I'll need to make a document. You'll need to do the same thing. Now, when this document pops up, don't forget, the first thing you need to do is give it a name. And so it's going to be your name and badge holder. So whatever your name is, put it in the front. And I'm going to save the changes. Okay, so now it's changed the name there. Let's grab a box. And let me refresh my memory. We had 58 by 96 by 6. So we're going to squish this dimension down to 6. I like doing one at a time, but usually, you know, you think you save time with two of them, but, you know, it's a little bit more difficult to get two right at once. So I just try to do one at a time. And then this, the height on this thing was 96. So I got 58 by 6 by 96. Hey, in this project, I told you it's very, very important to get this exactly the right size. Do yourself a favor. When you're done, double check it. Because the end result of this project is, to be graded, you're going to have to slide an ID badge in there, and it needs to fit and line up perfectly. So the end result is what matters. Therefore, it's important to check. So 6 by 58 and 96. I've got that done. OK, so now you can see I have those three shapes that were in that first frame. So I'm going to close that one up. And then there's another one, Component Parts 2. And see, this one's a little bit different. So uh, basically, what I'm going to do right now is kind of focus on this part right here. You can see this is what we call a compound shape. And this one, it takes a little bit uh, more, it's a little bit more complex to make it. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a cylinder, a box, and then we're going to duplicate that cylinder we made and move it over here. To do this, because 5 divided by 2 isn't a whole number, it's 2.5, you're going to have to switch to the 0 0.5 millimeter grid to line these up correctly. So let's check this out. So let's go through and do that. Oh, by the way, this other one, we'll, I'll just kind of auto do that and have it show up on the video and when I pause it, because this is just a, simply a wedge shape. So you use a wedge shape here. So let's go, let's go over this, this part here. And what this is, is this is, uh, unfortunately, I made this one too big. But this is that, the, the hole that the badge holder actually slips through. And it links up with this hole on the card. So it should be lined up pretty well there. OK, so let's check that out. So first of all, it was a cylinder. And it was 5 by 5. and about six millimeters tall. You know what I'm gonna do? It, I, I'm gonna actually do you a favor. That, that, let's, let's make it eight millimeters tall. And I know that doesn't match my drawing, but there's a good reason for that, and I'll show you later. It's, it's a little bit easier to manipulate. So this box here should match with the five, but it's only gonna be 10 millimeters long, not 20. So we'll reduce this down to 10. And this should be only, Again, it was six in the drawing, but I'm going to go eight millimeters tall here. And there's, like I said, there's a good reason for that later on. Uh, so what we do here now, here's the problem with this, is that the middle of this is 2.5 millimeters. And this is all justified, not from the middle, but it's, uh, it's actually aligned by one of the corners, the upper and left. So here's the problem with this. If we keep on the one millimeter grid, that's not lined up. And neither is this. There's no way to line it up. So what we do is just go halfway in between would be 0.5. So you go down here and you change this to 0.5. And then you can get this lined up exactly. Whoops. I guess I didn't. OK. So you can get this lined up exactly. So you can see when the top of this, uh, this shape, and again, it it's supposed to be a circle, right? But all circles on a computer are actually simulated with polygons. So I'm going to line that up. See how that's exactly lined up? Another way you can tell is this dot that pops up in the middle of the circle will be exactly on that line on the edge of the box. OK, we're going to go Control-D to duplicate. 
If you don't know how to do that, if you don't want to do that, you'd have to go up to this edit menu and duplicate. And you're going to move it over with your right arrow key or whichever direction it is for you on your screen. And now I have both of those shapes lined up perfectly. And I'm going to group those together and make a hole. And there you have it. So there's four of my five shapes. And then we're going to get that wedge out there. So my wedge is 58. Whoops. I recommend highly that you delete that. Go back and change to a one millimeter grid. I'm telling you, it's a lot less of a headache. So now that we don't need that anymore, we can go to a one millimeter grid. And I need to get this to 58 and 10 by 10. 10 tall and 10 across in this direction. Okay, so there it is. Double check your dimensions. Uh, before we move on to the next video, I want you to go back and double check the dimensions of all these. This one won't match the drawing necessarily. Oh, and by the way, we need to rotate this, don't we? There it is, 90 degree rotation. And this guy needs to be kind of spun around 180 degrees. So here you can see we have all five parts done. And in the next video, I'm going to show you guys how to put these things all together.